Hello my friends, it's Danny, and today I'm sharing one of my favorite weeknight meals, turkey and spinach meatballs. I love making these ground turkey meatballs on the weekend when I'm doing my meal prep, so I have them ready to go for a busy week, and I can't wait to show you the ingredients that I use to keep these healthy meatballs nice and moist and tender. So the first thing I do is preheat my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, and line a couple of rimmed baking sheets with some parchment paper so nothing sticks. If you prefer, you could just spray them down with some cooking spray. Then, in a nice big bowl, I've got two pounds of ground turkey. I like to do a combination. So I buy one pound of extra lean ground turkey and then one pound of regular ground turkey. You can of course buy all extra lean or all regular. It really doesn't matter. Both will get the job done. You could also do this with ground chicken, ground bison, ground beef. So as always, use what you have, use what you love. So I'm starting with four fat cloves of crushed garlic. Then in goes half of a finely diced onion eight ounces of minced cremini mushrooms. And yes, you guessed it, this is my secret ingredient. This is the key to keeping your ground turkey meatballs nice and moist. And do not worry about it. You can't taste them at all. It just adds a great texture to the meatball. So what I like to do is I just wipe them down with a paper dowel to get any excess dirt off of them. You don't really wanna run them under water because they're very porous and they could absorb that water and they would get very soggy and then I just give them a rough chop, get them into a food processor, and mince them up until they're nice and fine, just like this. So I'm excited for you to give this little trick a try. You are going to be so amazed at how moist and tender it will make your turkey meatballs. Next, I have 10 ounces of frozen spinach that I defrosted right on the counter, and then I just squished out any additional water so it doesn't water down the meatballs. This is a really easy way to work some extra greens into your diet, so not only are these meatballs packed with protein, but they're packed with veggies as well. Then I have half a cup of grated Romano cheese, which is a salty, nutty, delicious cheese. Parmesan cheese would also work here. A half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now I'm using panko breadcrumbs, but you could use Italian breadcrumbs or really any breadcrumb you have on hand. One egg, two egg whites. Now you could of course do two whole eggs or four egg whites. Either one get the job done. The whites add a little extra protein. The whole egg is gonna have a little extra fat and a little extra richness. Both create a delicious end product. So whichever one turns you on. Then I have a teaspoon of fresh grated nutmeg, which is a little bit unexpected, but it adds a lovely dimension of flavor to the meatballs. Then one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt and one teaspoon of black pepper. Once I have everything in my bowl, I'm just gonna mix it all together and I find the easiest way to do this is using my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and combine this to all of the seasons and the veggies are distributed throughout the ground turkey. Once I have everything mixed really well together, I like to give my hands a quick wash and then I leave them damp. I find having my hands a little bit wet makes it a lot easier to roll the meatballs. So you may wanna do this near your kitchen sink or just have a bowl of water on hand ready to go. Then I'm gonna scoop a heaping tablespoon of the mixture into my palms, and you're just gonna roll it into a little ball, just like that. Then I'm just gonna place that on my prepared baking sheet, and I'm gonna repeat until I've worked through the entire mixture. Now, the goal is to have each meatball about the size of a golf ball, and in doing that, you're gonna end up with somewhere between 35 and 40 meatballs. So you definitely need two baking trays for this. Then I'm gonna pop these in the oven and let them cook for about 20 minutes. That usually is just perfect. The goal is for the internal temperature of the meatball to reach 165 degrees. Once the meatballs are done, you can of course enjoy them just the way they are. They are so simple and so delicious. But what I really love to do is heat some tomato sauce in a nice big skillet over the stove. And then I transfer the meatballs into the sauce and let them simmer for another five to 10 minutes just so that they get all of that sauce. And then we'll serve it over some spaghetti squash or some zoodles or some lentil pasta. And you've got this delicious protein and veggie packed meatball ready to go. This is a super family and meal prep friendly meal that I am so excited for you to try. And when you do, do me a favor, snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and Facebook and let me see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.